Hi, my name is Rick Tom. This is my lovely house here in Ibiza, and uh, I'm ready to rock. <laughs> <laughs> We mainly do trance, but we kind of vary a lot. You could say we have our, our particular kind of sound. We try to blend a lot of music, take some beats from Brazil, some sounds from Turkey, some percussion from Morocco, some of it from there, and you just blend it all into one kind of, one kind of music. Me, I come more from like a hip hop background, and Bunzi comes more from a rock and roll background, so. And then we kind of both got into trance at the same time, into electronic music. So uh, it's good, we both have kind of different backgrounds, which you also hear in, in the music somehow. I like a lot of rhythms and breakbeats and stuff inside, and Bunzi will like a lot of other stuff. And the way you work, even when you collaborate with different people, is everyone kind of puts in their little thing and you see what's, what, what you all like, basically. Collaboration is the best because there's other people with other ideas. I mean. You kind of know your partner already, so when you have other people involved, it's nice because everyone puts their idea into one thing and there's many people saying, ah, oh, that sounds good or that sounds shit. Trance is a, it's a different state of mind, basically. It's not really like the house parties or the commercial parties you have out there. People are, are there more really to dance and to have a good time with their friends and to really just rock the dance floor. In Ibiza, it's hard to say because we've had many nice parties in uh, people's houses that were even nicer than the parties in the clubs here. Because it's a more nicer vibe. You have like a thousand, two thousand people in the backyard of someone's house. It's kind of more friendlier. It's all the friends there and stuff. I mean, the studio is basically 24 hours. There's always someone in there. There's someone asleep and someone's always working. Someone else is working. So it's a constant uh, production in there. Yeah, look around. <laughs> it's not hard to, to guess why. <laughs> yeah. There's few places where you can make music under the sun and have a good time and just be relaxed and the Spanish people are great. And it's a good place to be. I used to come here with my mom. Uh, I think the first time I must have been 11, 12. I mean, that's how, also how I got into electronic music through my mom. She listened first before me. It's a Scorpio Island, it's a lot of energy in one place. It's what you need to suck up and put into the music. Yeah, we travel every week, and <laughs> that's what we enjoy. The best part is spreading the music around the planet. Huh? Israel is one of the biggest trans scenes in the world, actually, where you can go to any house and the next door neighbor is listening to trans. I mean, I would say Israel and Japan are the biggest places. And Asia is a very like futuristic scene. That's why it, it hits so well in uh, Japan and in, in China. Even there's great nightclubs now, and it's because it's, the the people there are very futuristic, like in the technology, and, and this music kind of goes with that because it is kind of the music of the future, and the, the ear evolves with everything, and this music is just a, another evolution of the ear somehow. <laughs>